So we're on our last model here, which is continuous deployment. Uh, and this is the same as continuous delivery, but it automatically deploys changes to production. And so there's our pipeline. It's blue all the way across. And uh, here is our um, uh, technical architecture. Uh, and it looks very similar to the last one, but we have a little bit on the end here. So we know continuous integration, we know continuous delivery, and now we're looking at continuous deployment. So the last thing we saw in uh, continuous delivery was the feature branch being merged into master. So all the code was ready to be deployed. And so this is where continuous deployment comes in. So something would check to see if something changed in the source. It would be monitoring code commit or GitHub. And as soon as something was merged into it, it would then trigger um, code pipeline to start doing things. And in code pipeline, you would define something such as code deploy. Uh, so the source would then get checked out, maybe go to code build and run the test one final time. Uh, and if those pass, it pass on to code deploy and then code deploy would uh, start that process of deployment. Uh, and so that is the whole pipeline there.